Okay folks, uh, today I want to talk to you about um, this uh, pulse motor. This is basically Johnny Davrez and lid motors idea and this is based on lid motors solar rechargeable spinner and here's the circuit. There's a couple of differences. I've just, I'm just using a different transistor and I'm using uh, a different type of fast, uh, fast diode and I'm using a one inch magnet. The, the coil is the same as a bifilar coil that's wound the same way that you would round a, wind a jewel thief and the way that lid motor did it was 200 feet of 30 gauge and 75 feet of 26 gauge wound together on basically a hookup wire spool that you can get from Radio Shack and just wind it all together and uh, uh, join the ends like that. Uh, what I did is I wanted to check the effect of uh, the resistor, the resistance on uh, the rate of spinning and the current draw and I wanted to uh, check uh, the effect of using a supercapacitor instead of a regular battery because I'm just fascinated with supercapacitors and uh, decided to use a 200 farad um, 2.7 volt Actually, it's not a 200 farad, I believe it's a 400 farad. Let me just check this here. It's a 400 farad uh, 2.7 volt super cap, and I charged it up to uh, 2 volts. So uh, here's the circuit, and uh, there's your uh, the transistor. There's the variable the 10k part, and that's in series with a 10 ohm resistor connected to the base of the transistor. And there's the coil wound, I believe, the same way that uh, the lid motor wound his. And I've got a one inch diametrically polarized magnet. It's a, uh, you know, a circular magnet as shown there. And I used the, the same idea that was used by lid motor, putting a ball bearing on the bottom and a little uh, dowel in the top to get it going. And that's a concave, concave mirror. And as you can see there, the thing is working really well. It's been going for several hours already on the supercapacitor. And um, I've noticed that the diode, you know, I have a, an LED diode, um, yeah. which is not shown in the circuit, but is connected right across here, the opposite polar polarity to get back back EMF and there's that there's that LED that's not even coming on and I'm right at 10 ohms so the uh, part is turned way down and I'm at 10 ohms on the base of that transistor and I, with that I get the maximum velocity yeah I could go lower I haven't really tried going lower but I get the maximum velocity and here's the Here's the trace on a digital oscilloscope, and that shows the uh, base. That's looking at the base of the uh, transistor. And uh, as I increase the resistance on the base, and I'm going to do that right now, I'm starting to get that LED coming on. And the frequency, as I increase the resistance, starts to decrease as you can see there and you can see the magnet starting to wobble so I'm going to reduce the resistance on the base and the magnet starting to spin faster and the LED has gone off and the wobbling starting to uh, stabilize but it's moving pretty fast as you can see there and uh, here's my trace again and you know I bet this thing would go all night on this one of the interesting things about using a super cap in this kind of setup is that you can um, is that you can uh, easily charge up with a solar cell. They're ideally suited to charging up with a solar cell because of very low uh, internal resistance, unlike a battery where you're losing energy from the internal resistance of the battery. As I was mentioning, um, as you increase the resistance on the base, the uh, speed of the magnet slows down and the current draw slows down. 
pretty much it's around 10 to 15 milliamps at uh, when it's set at around uh, 10 um, 10 ohms but when you increase it up to you know above 10 ohms the uh, current draw goes down considerably um, to 5 milliamps or less and I uh, just thought I'd want to try this I've got another core here this is actually 150 turns of uh, 26 gauge wire I've connected an LED to the end of it and I'm just going to put that right near that spinning top and as you can see I'm able to light that LED but I think it's causing the magnet to slow down in terms of its spinning rate but I'm getting some nice bright uh, colors but you can see the magnet slowing down there kind of interesting anyway thought you'd like that okay then uh, thanks for watching and uh, please feel free to give me a thumbs up or subscribe to this channel if you like uh, this video